ladies and gentlemen, fellow Scots, friends, family, I stand in front of you today not as a politician, but as a proud Scot who believes in the potential of our great nation. As we gather in Glasgow today in this good Scottish weather, our unwavering belief in the necessity of Scottish independence unites us all. And I am humbled to be part of this historic moment. And I want to speak to you today about the path we must forge with determination, unity, and integrity. At this point, there are those who would divide our movement, who would allow petty differences and personal ambition to overshadow our collective goal. But as champions of independence, it's our responsibility to rise above these challenges and demonstrate our commitment to the people of Scotland who have placed their trust in us. Now is not the time for division, for distraction, and instead we must unite unity and focus. The Scottish National Party, once a beacon of hope, is facing turmoil. And whilst we acknowledge the contributions of former leadership, we must learn from the mistakes made and address these issues with justice, compassion, and reconciliation. The time has come for a fresh start, grounded in integrity, unity, and an unwavering commitment to our cause and our people. I refuse to compromise on matters of principle or shy away for standing up what is right, no matter what the personal or the professional cost might be. And integrity is paramount. And we must uphold this virtue in ourselves and collectively as a movement. And an independent Scotland can only be built on a foundation of integrity. We all knew that the journey to independence would not be easy. But this is a journey we must embark on together. We must unite across the independence movement, both within the SNP and the other pro-independence parties to achieve the Scotland that we need and we deserve. The time for reconciliation within our movement is now. We must come together, learn the mistakes from the past, embracing those who have warned of misdeeds by some in our movement. But equally important, forgiving those who have been deceived by lies and misguided longer than we may have been. Let us all remember those who travel alone travel fastest, but in the company of friends together, we travel furthest. As we forge ahead, let us remember the importance of integrity, sincerity, and cooperation in our leadership and in our movement. And through that mutual respect, that understanding, and that trust, we can build a brighter future for Scotland, united in the pursuit of independence. And by doing that, we will strengthen this movement. We will recommit to our shared goals and we will create a free and an independent Scotland where all our minds, our hearts and our hands are united in creating that thriving nation. We will be the newest, oldest,
richest country in the world. And the world will rejoice in welcoming us back to national statehood. And in the words of our national poet, Ravi Burns, now's the day and now is the hour. Let this be the turning point in our journey to independence, a new dawn for Scotland, where unity, integrity, and determination guide our path to a brighter future. Thank you. What an opener.